first of all, as females, we play multiple roles in life. We uh, have business roles, we have jobs, we have families, we have kids, we have husbands, we have parents. And as female, you want to be good at everything. And you always ask yourself a question, am I a good mother? Am I a good leader? Am I a good daughter? So all of these questions clearly are uh, on, on our mind every day. And um, when you realize that you're not spending enough time with your family or you're not spending a time, a, enough time with the kids, so you start losing self-confidence and you start um, feeling that famous guilt that I'm sure many female leaders will, will share with you. And that guilt cuts into your energy and adds stress and so on. So that's, that's the challenge that I'm sure every female leader um, is going through. Now, when we look at the external uh, environment, there are multiple biases and social norms that um, create substantial challenge for uh, female leaders. Just think about it. So as girls, we are brought up and we are taught to be humble. We are taught to be polite. We are taught, taught to be careful and soft-spoken. And now when you come into the business environment, when you come um, to operate in the real business world, when we speak up and when we want to share our point of view, we sometimes are referred to as aggressive or emotional. And when men speak up, they are usually referred as resilient and present and assertive. So I think these are the challenges that we go through. So there are internal, external, but for, for us as leaders, it is important to be aware of those challenges and help uh, young female leaders um, to really realize that those are out there, but there are ways to cope with them. I'm inspired by real female leaders, the leaders that I meet. And um, I'm always curious about the journey um, that they went through. Being in UAE and living here, I'm actually very much inspired by the country. Nine of the ministers in UAE government are female. If you look at the public sector, 66% of jobs in the public sector are taken by female, and 30% of those are leadership roles. UAE is an excellent example, and actually I think it's one of the top countries in the world uh, in terms of women empowerment. I'm also inspired by the company that I work for, uh, Ila Lilly. Female employees represent about 50% of our workforce in the Middle East today. But we don't stop there because it would have been just a simple metric. Um, we pay attention not only at the composition of our workforce, but also at the composition of the leadership uh, levels. And I'm happy to share with you that on my lead team, the team re that reports to me who support and lead uh, our business in the Middle East, 50% of those leaders are female to support women in leadership. So I sponsor a lot of female talents. Um, I, I really love doing that because uh, it's great to see someone who came into uh, the business and it's great to see female leaders growing in spite of the complexities that um, are present in our everyday uh, life. Ladies, be bold <laughs> and do not be afraid uh, to get out of uh, your comfort zone. Do not be afraid to try new things. Uh, do not be afraid to take over new assignments and experiment because it's only when we get outside of our comfort zone. That's where we grow and that's where we develop. Another thing I would say is that think about your purpose in life because for females, female leaders, 
our life, our personal life, our family life, our business life, it is so interconnected. And think about the purpose in life and connect what you do at work with the other roles that you play and define your priorities. And it helped me a lot. So once you define what your priorities are in life, that makes things so easier, so much easier. And I would say the last thing I would say is that you are remarkable, unique, and you are one of a kind, and you can achieve anything you, you are dreaming of. So do not be afraid, push on all paddles, and in case you fail, it just makes you one step closer to winning.